نسمي لكم من الاكم البروجرام اير بورن اللوم اللوم الدجدين اللي ندديكاو على دين الكونفرنسا اللي صارت على الاول دار باف مالتا ذا مولتا افيشن كونفرنس اند اكسبو ومي عندي للجوشوا زميت اللي هو ويهت من الفونداتوري في المكان ما جونيتن دال اللي استني بوجيا اللي هولمو دين الكونفرنسا او بروبيو ادا السيخ على الاول دار باف حتكون شي حاجه انوالي جوشوا لو نتني لينغراتياك بروسيت و نشتاق فور ستيني اوفر فيو تاعها البوزيزيوني تاعها وكم امبورتانتي على مالتا. اي بعدين يا كونفرنس اللي نحسبوا فوق الفتت من مش حزين مثلا تقينا هنا ستانلي وجوناثان ما كنا قاعدين نديسكوتوا ريدنا نعملوا شي حاجه اللي تخرج الزفلوب اللي صار بدنا البايس فوق لافياتسيوني. عندنا اندستريا تاع لافياتسيوني بصحتها هسا قاعدين نلعبوا في البريمير ديفيجن تاع لافياتسيوني والورا حسينا اللي عنده يكون ام ايفنت اللي يخرج دان كولو و سيرفي بحال بلاتفورم باش نكون في نسفلوب او لافياتسيوني في مالطا. جو كل نمرو تاع ديليغاتي من برا يجي في ديجا نحسب برميس تاع السبيكرز اللي عزلتو هاي كلكم بروبيو ديجا الفيدباك يدير اللي هو طيب حفنا. ايفا الفيدباك هو طيب الناس اللي يعيدونا اللي السبيكر ليست هي هاي ليفل حفنا. أتن خصو كل اللي أم شرط وانتراكشن أم الناس اللي يدو جوست أن نتوركينج سيشنز جفري لفيت كل اللي هات يستنى أتيجرو أم جيفن هي لو الأديتيوني كنت أنت هفنا في مند بلاوت كام كنا بهدوي هورش 350 بارتاجيبانت over the three days اللي منهم 60 في المية وما جاي من برا و الورا هي شي حاجه اللي ستبدا تصير كل سنه هي شي حاجه اللي احنا براود هفنا اللي نشينا نعملوها داسك طيب من الاول و نسبراو اللي بحالا ميز تكون وحده من الايفنت تاع لافياتسيوني اللي كلا فوت برينت مش بس لوكالي اما وكل اوروبيو بروسيت و جراتي هفنا اوفيمنت احنا سانكومبرو دان البروجرام تاعنا باللي انتوكم تيسترز تاع هوت من السبيكرز و داك اللي كلهم شي عيدو في دين الكونفرنس تاعت امبورتانتي James Hogan kien president u kap ezekutif ta' l-Etihad Aviation Group bejn l-2006 u l-2017. Taħtit meċxija tija u l-kumpanija kibret għal-wahda mill-ikbar fil-dinja u rebħet għad ta' titli, fostom Airline of the Air ta' rivista prestigjuza Air Transport World. Mr. Hogan, thank you for giving us this interview. Malta is indeed positioning itself at the forefront of the aviation hub in Europe and possibly even the world. What is Malta doing right? What are its right moves? What is it focusing on? And what will it yield to the market? When you look at global aviation, Malta is uniquely positioned from a government, EU membership, financial, fiscal stability. So all the key factors in regard to governance that you look at when one wants to invest in a country. So that's good, that, that's a great tick. If you look over the past years, Malta has done a great job in shipping, uh, registration, and also in aviation and aerospace. When one considers not only the national carrier Air Malta, but the work with Lufthansa Technique, the work with engineering companies that fit out aircraft, it's already established a presence and has a label as an effective brand in aerospace. However, the next stage is how do you take advantage of that foundation to build other pillars? And you've seen more entrants, more airlines are coming into Malta. You've also got other industry sectors and the Prime Minister today discussed about the leasing industry. And that's another exciting pillar to create opportunity here in Malta and to not only benefit the economy but to benefit the people so there's a great can-do attitude it's a great place to do work i love coming here <laughs> and we're very excited to be positioned for this next phase of the aviation story in malta you mentioned that aviation brings jobs and indeed during your time in the middle east you were uh, recruiting female pilots at a time when culture and tradition over there even required the female passenger to get a signature from her father. What kind of opportunities are you seeing us Maltese to have in the aviation sector? 
Well, I think one has to remember that there are so many Maltese people already in aviation in the rest of the world. So at my previous company, Etihad, I had Maltese management, I had Maltese pilots, I had Maltese cabin crew, I had Maltese engineers. So if you look outside of Malta, uh, there's already that, that Malta stamp. Nevertheless, you've got two opportunities. Firstly, to bring some of those people back that have got those skills as the airline activity here develops, as the industry develops, you can bring those people back. The flip side is how you develop jobs for the next generation. And in my previous role, I certainly spent time with the appropriate development agencies, understanding we spoke and dealt with the universities in regard to curriculum, in regard to engineers, in regard to IT, to ensure that the university programs gave the right skill set to feed into internships yes. because it's a proven uh, methodology that aviation creates jobs and not may, maybe not only in, in the airline but it can be the engineering company it can be in the hotel because the more visitors you have means you need to employ more staff in the hotel to cater for those visitors so the downstream effect of jobs across the travel tourism hospitality sector is considerable Thank you very much and wish you a pleasant day. Thank you. Thank you. Abel Mana at my Euro Control, Eamon Brennan, the Director General, Ken El Cap Executive Tal Autorita Tal Aviazioni Irlandiza. Mr. Brennan, thank you very much for giving us this interview. My first question is going to be about the aviation challenges that Europe is facing. For Europe at the moment, we have three top challenges as far as, I, as far as we're concerned in Eurocontrol. Firstly is the provision of air traffic capacity in Europe. This is a significant bottleneck and we need to advance that with the single European sky. The second is the environmental footprint and sustainability of aviation. And the third thing is to preserve the connectivity and the competitiveness of European aviation. These are key for the continent because we're facing challenges in Asia, in America, so Europe has to make sure that we retain a competitive advantage over these regions, otherwise our industry and our business will suffer. You mentioned the five top things that need to be addressed to face these challenges. What are they? I mean, aviation is going to continue to grow. In Eurocontrol, we're predicting 2% growth for aviation for the next 20 years. And if you look back at the last 40 years, every single year, except a little blip here and there, your aviation has grown. So we have to be facing with a prospect of aviation growing. And when you look at an island like Malta, aviation is core and central. So in Europe, what we have to do, and Malta plays a key part in shaping the European policy agenda, is we have to be very sure that we address the connectivity issue, the profitability issue, and the environment issue. And for me, there are two things that can happen. First of all, we need to, the politicians in Europe need to implement the European single sky. That's basically treat the skies of Europe as one in the same way as we have a single common market, as we have a banking union, as we have a pharmaceutical union, as we have a customs union, as we have Schengen. But in the skies, it's all fragmented. And we need to address this because otherwise we're polluting the environment, we're not being connectivity efficient, and we're basically not being competitive. So that that's really is, is, is number one that they need to do. And second on sustainability, we need to move away, in my view, from a culture of taxing aviation. We need to incentivize what actually deals with the CO2 emissions, and this is sustainable aviation fuels. We need to provide for, they're five times more expensive than regular fuels, so Europe has to incentivize their production, incentivize their distribution, incentivize also the production of new technology, composite aircraft, electrification of aircraft, hyd hydrogen aircraft. All of these things are positive things we can do in Europe to reduce emissions. The answer is not to reduce travel. The answer is to actually reduce the CO2 and focus on this because unless the tax is dedicated directly to dealing with these issues and providing research, then it just becomes another tax on the citizen. And you know, for an island economy like Malta, it's very counterproductive. So that, that's my genuine view. And I think you really can shape it in Malta as an island economy. I come from an island economy in Ireland originally, and I understand the issues. And you particularly have the same issues. So my view is to make sure your voice is heard in Europe. Da lodo di già che nel discussione interessante half now usma in affariet li che no very insightful. Shino l'actar, shino l'actar ha già li l'attitek. 
نعمل مئة كنت أدرى تاي بحفنا لا أتني في يومين تسبيت شرب المنستو فين خبر الشغل تسير بيش ينخلق صور وأمبيتسيون كبيرة لمال تاتي بوزيشنيرو خان في السيتو تاكا فليسين هو شهاجة جديدة شهاجة اللي يدونها سوليا القدم لنستا تكريا أبورتونيتايات كبارة للفايزنا دان نمبيا Dr. Dalli, l-perċezzjoni tan-nis i l-settur tal-avjazzjoni u a-settur illi inniġġis. Fl-opinjoni tijak, xandu jamel dan il-settur biex jikun aktar sostenibli. Arab, kull settur industriali biex mot jowi għor inniġġis. Imma għemżon li kull settur jikontribuċi biex naqas dak it-niġġis. Isajna naf li fil-qasam tal-avjazzjoni għem diversi alternativi li jedin jidġu studiati u għut minnam li diġa dew jidġu applikati għifir illum il-ġurnata per eżempju nitkellmu dwar ajru plani li jinitsu in qas min li kienu jinitsu snin ilu għedin nitkellmu għanki dwar xitib ta' biofuels għalkem il-teknoloġija trit ta' vanza għaf niktar minnek imma jek verament aħna ther nimxu għal-model ekonomiku ġdid fejn nirridu naċċarta u ruħna li konna opportunitajiet ta' biznis li jajnu l-ekonomija tigber fl-istess ħin li inħarsu l-ambjent u l-klima taħna għal-ura irridu jinanejt aħna bħala policy makers fl-imkien ma' l-stakeholders tal-industria nuqodu bil-qeda fl-imkien biex naraw xinni l-ħjar triq il-qoddim l-izgur miħx triq il-qoddim li kollok xie settur jajt li jena ma' rriċ ni kontribuċi xħħħġa l-settur tal-avjazzjoni muħx jamel għalix iħt jara u koll x-teknoloġiji ġodda, x-teknoloġiji moderni jista jaddatta. Pro, ovjament, għal kull settur iħor, għemżon li daw il-passi l-qoddim isiru iktar malajr jina nejt għal-benefitxu ta' kull ħatt. Għalix jekka da pita da naslu f-punt li kollom jittihdu ċertu mizuri li għallu mpat negattif. Serbatu l-industri i kolla. Għalura għaleksa bieħ li jinti tara industri li kunu proattivi li jaraw uma kif jistaw jindirizzaw dik li sfida li kollom uddiema. Danu għas et-tur il-li għet joffri ħafna opportunitajiet u kollu għal da stand naħse piridu naħzbu fil-rizorsa umana diġa għet isirek mx taħse pilli għanna namlu bix anke il-rizorsa umana lokali stess il-sostni dan il-settur. Għara jinni hu gos niġu niġi konferenzi bħal din tal-lum li kunu organizzati mill-industria tal-avjazzjoni. Uni hu gost niġi għalix il-fat li nkun mistidna biex nitkellem u għaw koll acknowledgement li l-industria trit taħmen xaħħġa fejt hol l-qasam ambjentani. Għax fejt tkellimna kien propju għanki dwar li sfida ta' sostenibilita, l-inħarsu l-klima u l-qasam ambjentani. U għammek għanna u koll opportunita nejtijena ta' impig ġodda. Issa fl-aħar snin konna fortunat bizzejjet li s-settur tal-avjazzjoni kiber. Illum il-ġurnata il-gvern għetħarres lejn dan s-settur għala kontributur ewlieni wieħed mil-kontributuri ewlieni tal-ekonomija. Meta inti ikollu gvern li għaraf dak l-aspet ikollu kmizuri li kunu għedin jienu dik l-industria partikolari. Imma bħalku l-industria uħra li tkunat tigber brata maġla minu kunat jahdem dik l-industria għandu bżon il-rizorsa umana. U għafat li għafna drabi ikollna għanki n-importaw talent min barra. Għalu xinti jekma jkollok x-l-ekspertis t-pa jizek, jkollok t-importa talent min barra. Jena nixtiq li naslu f-situazzjoni fejn daw l-industri li ħalsu tajjeb, li jistaw joffru karriera li z-zazaħ taħna, jkunu għedin isibu ħaddima maltin. Jkunu għedin isibu z-zazaħ maltin li diġat trenjati jafu din il-karriera xit fissara liħom u li jistaw jahdmu f-din il-karriera. Saħfna drabi nitkellmu dwar il-ħtiġa li nindirizzaw, per eżempju, studenti li jedin fil-level tal-emka, sejw fil-level tal-universita. Jena nejt ejja nibdew nindirizzaw li studenti mil-level sekundarju. Għalix int fil-level sekundarju, jekk z-zazaħtana ikunu ewer taxinuma il-karriri li għandom uddimom u il-lum ninsabu f-pozizjoni fejn aħna fortunati li għanna għafna karriri min fejn z-zazaħtana jistaw jazdu. Li mu mix teknici bis. Mu mix teknici bis u mu mix il-karriri tradizjonali. Iġifri, dawnu ma karriri fejn studenti tfajlit bniet, studenti subien, jistaw jahdmu, jistaw jkollom suċċess, jistaw jaqilaw il-flusu jkunu kontenti. Fejn inti jkollom bżon xilit melale teknoloġiċi, imma xilit li mu mix neċessarjament teknoloġiċi, xilit manuali, għal zmintu jlisna xilit manuali nsejni jom, jina nejt ej janke mil-level sekundarju lawa l-net daw li studenti u l-ġenituri taħħom li jkunu għewer taċ karriri jazistu, 
jarawx skills hemm bżonn u biex dawk iż-żażaħ tagħna jitħarġu f'dawk l-skills meħtieġa għaliex ħames snin għaxar snin jgħaddu jgħaddu malajr u dawk l-istudenti li llum qegħdin fuq il-bank tal-iskola fl-iskola sekondarja għaxar snin oħra se rikunu l-ħaddiema li jkunu qegħdin jaħdmu fl-ekonomija tagħna. Business aviation has made a very clear commitment to combat climate change and to reduce its carbon footprint. The key to that is a 2% fuel efficiency cumulative in the decade that we are in now, and we are well on track to reach that target. In addition to which, we will achieve carbon neutral growth from 2020 onwards, and this should lead to a reduction of 50% of carbon by 2050. One of the most important things that business aviation is doing is investing heavily in innovation, in new technologies and in the sustainable aviation fuel to help us achieve those uh, targets in the years to come. Aviation, uh, you free half now opportunity and um, uh, um, um, diversity uh, opportunity it's Tam Pig, Mush Bispala pilots, you know, engineer, and position it, and I'm dispatch, flow operations, flow operat. Ticketing, uh, supporting tal crew, um, uh, technicians, uh, quality, and, and diversity. Shet namlu pala Malta Business Aviation Association uwa hafna fariet lawal wahdi awareness. Ijifiri narau kifu wasul message lil studenti ta nazar li aviation mushbis. Airlines, Lufthansa, and Malta. In Mumma, how down the company is our, the Yopera Aeroplanic Bar, Uzar, Fain at your free opportunity. How Malta, Ektar Mindauk, Mindauk, the company, the company in the bar. At the call, Namlu program, Fain at Moru, down the scale, in the tiny on the Nahar conference, Talem Castle Fat. Fein uranium, tajnjol opportunita isimaw nis fl-industria, warra hadnijom ġo maintenance organization uraw iċxol divers muġ ġas bis nis isaw għol aeroplan imma nis juduħsib l-store, nis juduħsib l-account. U uranium u kol dispatch ta aeroplani. Unxti un komplub da un tip ta inizjativi biex nuru tfal taħna l-lumx jobs jista' jkunem il-lum ġiġa u għanka fil-futur fejn jista' u jamlu karriera għal-jom. Dr. Sen Gupta hija inġinier aeronautiku speċjalist fil-qasam spazjali. Ħadmet man NASA għal 16 sena. Fost il-proġetti taħħa għem mis-sistema ta' nżul illi waslet il-vettura Curiosity fu il-pjaneta Mars. Il-lum il-ġurnata hija kap esekuttif ta' kumpanija li għetti zviluppa soluzzjonijiet ġodda għal mobilita urbana illi naqsu t-triġis u l-konġestjoni ta' traffiku. Taħdem u koll fuq sforzi biex jitnaqa si t-triġis mill-avjazzjoni. Dr. Senkupta, how did you take your engineering skills from working with NASA to the urban air transportation? 
So I worked for NASA for most of my career for 16 years. My background is in electric propulsion systems, which are high efficiency propulsion systems for spacecraft. So I worked on the propulsion system for the Dawn mission that went to um, the main asteroid belt and visited two asteroids. And then after that, I worked on the development of entry, descent, and landing systems, specifically on the team that landed the Curiosity rover on Mars, which are really complex aerodynamic vehicles. And so the way I transfer that knowledge to aviation is I know how to design brand new systems, which are really complicated and require lots of new technology, and make them work the first time. So how is that going to work on our planet? So my current role is I've co-founded an electric VTOL company, so a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. And so we're designing an aircraft called the Moby One, which is a tilt wing aircraft, which has the ability to take off and land vertically from uh, parking lots, from rooftops, uh, and be able to transport people up to 100 miles a distance away. So we have built a total of five subscale aircraft so far, so I'll be showing a video of one of the subscale aircraft that we use for engineering demonstration purposes, and then we hope to have a full-scale one built in the next 18 months. So we're designing a vehicle to be able to do transits of up to 100 miles, so one could imagine taking one of our Moby One tilt wings across uh, the mainland Europe over to Malta and using that as a means of transportation or the delivery of cargo. What is the future of sustainable urban air transport? So going with electric, fully electric flight for urban air mobility, it kickstarts the entire sustainable aviation business in general in terms of going electric. So I see eventually aircraft which are designed for regional transport between major cities, eventually cross-country transport, and then eventually transatlantic transport. And one of the technologies that has to facilitate that is even higher energy density batteries or hydrogen fuel cells. How about the future of the aviation world in general? So I see this future of sustainable aviation um, requires a whole development of new technologies, specifically to facilitate electric aviation, fully electric, emission-free, low-carbon footprint flight. And one of the ways to bring that about is with urban air mobility. And the reason for that is that urban air mobility is quite short range, and so it's a natural fit for battery power plant. Jonathan, Laktar Punti li ħarġu li laqtuk minn din il-konferenza li tħoss il-li fuqon tistaw tkom plutibnu. Naħsib li il-konferenza tal-lum il-ġuna ta' kolla. Taħtna spunti tajbin għalla ġenda ta' sana dina. Kwaħzi li kenna kenna nis li jati diskutu l-sfidi li jati faċa din l-industria. Kenna nis pa' l-Prim Ministru li semmiru kif ma' l-ta' svilupat minn klaster għal-anki għaffari toħrajn kif semma l-Kaptan Paċ għabli u fostu manki kif Malta fil-qasam tal-avjazzjoni għet iseg widak li ġera fil-industri uħrajn pal-gaming, pal-jotin, pal-servizzi finanziari għin għasib dak jen l-aspet definitely pozitif kienna mbaħt ma najduċ negattif jen ma najdu għaffariet li din l-industri għamma t-deja għax t-diskuti pal per esempio il-diskurs ta' sustainability il-diskors ta' l-stat ambientali u kif din l-industria t-stat kompli għanzi kwazi kwazi t-terraġiċi u b-mot immediat fuq daħk li għeti faċi l-industria l-lum. U naħsib daħu l-affarit kolla għan kif t-kellmet per esempio Dr. Anita, kif t-kellem James Hogan, kif t-kellem il-Direttur General ta' l-Eurocontrol. Naħsib daħu naħs punti interessanti biex ikonna aġenda għanki għal-Mejs 2020. Nittama li sibtu dak li ntqal il-lum interessanti f'dan il-program jina li naf zgur u mill-esperienza tijaj illi innis illi jahdmu fil-settur tal-avjazzjoni u manis ta' azzjoni u manis ta' pjan u ta' implementazzjoni. ġifiri man diġ dubju li dawk li sfidi li s-semmew kifu kol l-opportunitajiet illi jezistu saj kunu għedin jġi watwati. U bek ġejna fit mim il-program Airborne għal-lum. Nixti unir ingrazjaw li l-sponsor stadan il-program. Air Malta, Malta International Airport, Malta Air Traffic Services, Transport Malta u Enemed.